Along with Illusion of Gaia, Final Fantasy II is one of my favorite RPGs on the Super Nintendo. Final Fantasy IV is a role-playing video game developed and published by Square. In 1991, as a part of the Final Fantasy series, the game was originally released for the Super Famicom in Japan and has since been re released in many other platforms with varying modifications. This game was retitled Final Fantasy II during its initial release outside of Japan, as original Final Fantasy II and III had not been released outside of Japan at the time. However, later localization used the original title. In Final Fantasy II, the player controls a large cast of characters to complete quests to advance the story. Characters move and interact with people and enemies on the field. With may represent various settings such as towers, caves, and forests. Travel between areas occurs in the world map. The player can use talent to replenish health, buy equipment, and discover clues about their next destination. Conversely, the player fights monsters on random intervals on the world map and in dungeons. The battle, the player has the option to fight, use magic, or an item, retreat, change character positions, parry, or pause. Certain characters have special abilities. The game was the first in the series to allow the player to control up to five characters in the party. Previous game had limited to party of four. Player characters and monsters have hit points, but the player's HP captured below the main battle screen. Attacks reduce remaining HP until none are left, at which point the player faints or the monster dies. If all the characters are defeated, the game must restore the game's save file. The player can restore the character's hit points by having them sleep in an inn or use items in the party's inventory such as potions, as well as using healing magic spells. Equipment such as swords and armor bought in the town or found in dungeons can be used to increase damage inflicted on monsters or minimize damage received. The player can choose whether characters appear on the front line of the battle or in the back. The character's placement impacts damage received and inflicting depending on the type of attack. The game story is linear. The player can usually advance the game through only one path, although limited side quests are available. In this November 1991 issue, Nintendo Power proclaimed it set a new standard of excellence for role-playing games. They praised the battles as being more interesting than previous RPGs because the player makes make snap decisions and the enemies don't wait for you to make up your mind. They conclude that the story, graphics, play, and sound will keep fans revisited. Electronic Gaming Monthly panel of four viewers gave the game a rating of 8, 9, 7, and 8 out of 10, adding up to 32 out of 40 overall. This game can be pricey, but it is one of the greater games on the system. If you can find it for a good deal, I highly recommend that you pick it up. Thank you for watching.